Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie Jean and today I'm going to show you guys how I got these gorgeous, long, luscious butterfly locks in about two and a half hours and they're individuals. They're not crochet so you get that same beautiful faux lock look but I promise you you can do it yourself. It's super fast and inexpensive. The hair that I'm using today actually can be purchased on Amazon and the link will be down below in the description bar. So today's video is sponsored by Naseo. They sent me these 24 inch butterfly locks and and it's a complete set so it came with six packs of hair and I only ended up using four and it is super inexpensive the link to the hair will be down below in the description bar so make sure that you guys go and check it out so that you can install this style too if you do try this hair out tag me on Instagram because I want to see so bad I love when you guys tag me in your hair recreations like please without further ado if you want to see how I got this look then keep watching you want a supermodel pose I'm your real friend Winnie Okay, so I ended up installing most of my hair yesterday because your girl was tired and I was looking a little crusty. So I'm back today to show you guys how I installed the hair. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you two different ways, depending on what your style is. I have a few that I haven't finished, but I finessed it. These are the locks. They're super pretty and they're long. I am missing some long hair. I've been doing a lot of short locks lately, so I'm ready to whip a little something. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the install. Let me take this down. Okay, so I have these two here that I haven't done yet. So I'm just gonna tie the rest out of the way and let's get in. Definitely just spill everything, but yeah, let's get into how to install them. So I've already pre-sectioned out my hair. It just makes it a bit easier for me since I'm doing it on myself. And for moisture, I've already put my oils in there. I use the Satana oil that I really, really like. Um, I'll have a coupon code down below. It has like bergamot oil, coconut oil, so much good stuff in it. And now I'm just going to put on a bit of shea butter to add a little bit more moisture to the hair. Okay, so this is the section of hair. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of edge control and I'm gonna just slick the hair back to make sure the entire section is kind of like smooth. Then I'm gonna just braid it like regular and create like a little box braid moment. And once I get towards the end, I'm gonna put two of the sections together, like so, and then just begin to twist instead of braiding, just because braiding the whole way down is like gonna take forever. So I just braid halfway and then I twist the end. Now we have our section. Our section is ready to go. Okay, so this is like one of the butterfly locks. As you can see, it's a loop up top and then there's some pretty little texture on the lock all the way down and then here's the end. It's super cute, but the loop looks small at first. All you have to do is slide the hair down a bit. You wanna slide it down and that kind of lets the loop open more. Then just find the center of the loop it kind of looks like two loops and then you want to just open it up a bit just enough to where we can get everything that we need to through it now with my crochet needle i'm going to crochet through the braid grab the lock close the latch bring it back through go back through the hole in the lock and then i want to grab the rest of the lock and my hair so you want to pull your hair and the lock through now you may be able to do that with the crochet needle i'm kind of like a hands-on person so i'm not even about to play myself i'm going to just put my fingers through the little hole and first i'm going to grab my hair then i'm going to grab the end of the lock because it's easier to pull it through that way and then i'm going to just tighten the knot right and then i'm going to just grab a small section of your favorite curly textured hair you can literally use any brand you can use water wave or like a a kinky like an afro kinky texture or some sort of like 
curly synthetic hair. And I'm just grabbing a small piece and I'm gonna lay it down and leave about a two to three inch portion. And I'm gonna wrap that first. And then I'm going to take the longer side and wrap to cover my braid. And that's just gonna blend my hair in with the rest of the faux lock. And as you can see, I'm wrapping until I completely pass my hair, until I don't have any more hair left. Just like we would do on any other lock. And here is what it looks like. All right, so that is one way to install a lock, but it can get a little bit tight depending on how tight your braids are to begin with she given a little snatch. But if you're really tender head, I will try this technique instead because it's a little more forgiving on your scalp, especially if you naturally braid tight. So I put my shea butter in. So then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna loosen up this knot here, just a little bit, just enough to where we can get our fingers through. So you wanna slide that hair down and then get that knot open. So boom. Then we're gonna grab a small section out of the section and pull it through the base of the faux lock and then separate that other larger section into two sections. So you see the lock is at the base here and we're gonna just braid our hair to hold the lock there. Super easy. This is the invisible knot method and it lays a bit flatter so if i'm doing a middle part this is how i'll do it same thing we're going to just braid most of the way down and then we're going to give sis a cute little twist at the end so this is our setup so far we're going to make sure it's not too tight then i'm just going to grab a piece of our curly hair and we're going to do the same thing and wrap it so this technique also works better for people who have a bit longer hair if your hair is shorter the other one may be easier for you so to get that smooth look, I'm starting by wrapping right over the base of the lock. And you don't wanna to wrap too loose, but you also don't wanna to wrap too tight so that we don't have to do that double wrapping. Just wanna make sure that you spread the hair out a bit though so that it covers the entire braid. And then once you get past the braid, can just wrap loosey goosey and try not to like wrap over the texture on the locks because it's really pretty and you don't want to lose the texture <laughs> okay so this is the finished look the finished lock okay so this is the final look as you can see the first lock we installed and the second one we did together. The hair came out super pretty. Thank you again to Naseo for working with me. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.